lock the doors. There we go. Oh, okay, that's wow, that looks nice. That's some serious offset. We're gonna do the tune, right? Yeah. So we're gonna tune it. We got the Evo 2 exhaust. We got sidetracked it, dude. We got sidetracked it, dude. Yeah, what happened is we went to Tractor Supply to get some really important stuff. Right? Yes. That we need to uh, finish, finish this install of this grill. The wiring. Lighted grill. But uh, then, uh, well, we decided to come out here and check these out. We're not buying a trailer. Actually, we came to, so we came to visit Brandy. Brandy has not been able to be in the videos lately because she's always out here. Out here being Epic RV, selling trailers. So we're gonna go see what she's doing. Let's go surprise her. Let's go surprise her. Let's go. I bet they have some trailers for sale. Hold up. Wait, can you come check this out? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Brandy has her own parking here. Let's just walk in like we own the place. Oh, there you are. Hi, I'm so hot. I just got out of the trailer. I'm dying. Do you see this? Uh, Hi. Surprise. Surprise. Your camera. It's an awfully big camera you got, sir. Let me lead you out to where uh, the action's happening. We took a picture. Of, we took a, some video of your sign that says this is your parking space. Well, it is my parking space. Wow, the air conditioning. Nobody else is allowed to park there, so. Looks, looks like they got the air working again. Oh, yeah. They did. They also got the toilets working again, so. Well, that's Apparently, helpful. I didn't, know. I didn't know they were broken. Oh, I like that. What? That trailer right there. This one, the 351 A13, 13-foot garage, triple slide, 30-foot. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, there it is. Yeah, this, uh, are you talking about the no, 2014? He likes... Yeah, this is a 2414 V. It just came in today. Can you play straight across the way? I don't know. That's a 3414 V. Yeah, I got 28. So you tell me, 14 feet apart. Yeah, I told him. That's Cody Miller, the new TV show. Oh. Wow. That's that. Uh, look at these. I like him. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Hey, how's it going, man? Nice to meet you, sir. How you doing? Good, good. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm gonna go grab my truck. I have to charge my truck. Oh, man. Oh, sure, baby. Oh, man, you guys are warm. It's hot out here. Yes. How's it going, man? It's warm. It's a little bit warm today. We're gonna get ready to go to Oregon, though, so it'll be nice when we're yeah? on the road in two days. Oh, you know, man. How you doing? I'm jealous. How are you? Those sand crafts look amazing. I like those doors. Yeah. What doors are those? Those are the new SDR doors. They're the hybrids. Okay. Ready. We've got SDR Ooh. Yeah, I love those wheels. We've got a set of wheels here. You see the new? Oh, yeah. Those are expensive. I like those. Those are the ones I picked, too. But I those. Yeah. Those probably won't make it to Oregon, but. Yeah, these are more of my press. These are like. This is like 400 bucks each. Yeah, but you know what? It's pretty nice. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, but these, these are like 400 bucks each, right? Yeah. These are a little less, right? Yeah, I think dealer costs are pretty similar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not bad. I, I like the feedlock, though. Sandcraft doesn't build the beadlock. Yeah. So. If you're a beadlock guy, the EWTs are pretty badass. I like beadlocks, but I've ran many, many miles in the pretty sand light. without them. Let's do a little comparison. I don't know, you do it. Pretty close? I'd say they're within a pound. They're sharp. Seven thousand either now with uh, twenty. Yeah, you better be keeping it a little lighter. That's what I was. Kind of, I was kind of thinking that too, but. And I bet you that's that. supposed to be. I bet you it's about half the money too. It's a, it's a hundred bucks a little lighter. Yeah. So, yeah. You know the shelf goes off on the right. Yeah, because I've looked at both of these recently. 
Oh, we got a major difference in offset too. Yeah, so that that's the standard offset. So the car's going to run a wider setup. This is the standard uh, Razor S offset. Okay. Oh so, yeah. Or it could be that's the front wheel. Let's look. Oh yeah, it could be. I, I don't have a knife. I have to call it. Yeah, it could be that this is. There you go. That's the nice thing about the Sandcraft is they, they let you keep your bike at the stock offset or the stock width. Yeah. So that's the same, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the same. Yeah. Let's go one more deep, then we'll know the answer. <laughs> that was the old system. Yeah, because you're already 72. Our car, our Can Am set 77 with the wheels yeah. and tires right now. Yeah, so what the Sandcraft did is they said, well, we're going to build a wheel for a paddle that will keep you at the same width. Whereas everyone else, when you run over there, we're going to. Oh, okay, that's wow, that yeah. nice. That's some serious offset. Yeah, that's, so that's actually more than. That's the... going to put us out at 77 inches. Oh, yeah. Now, let me show you something here. Check out these. So, when I first bought my. Uh, where does the uh, this one's for game two. Oh, yeah. What I understand it is the offset on this is going to keep me right at about 74 inches. So really close, only one inch on each side. Yeah. So, but look how narrow the tire looks once it's mounted. Oh, yeah. They look freaking fat when they're not mounted. Huh? They look like they sit fat when they're not mounted. Yeah, when they're not, huh? That's a 30, what, uh, 10 inch wheel? That's the inside of the tire. Is that a 10 inch wheel? This is a 10 inch. This is also the Sandcraft. This is their original wheel. That's a 32, really right? for the whole setup. Yeah. Well, one done, one to go. One done. I like the doors. The yeah, doors I really like them because all I've seen is the pictures of these. You see how there's this little area here? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know if I'd like that. I looked at some pictures, and the pictures, it looks like there's a real big gap. In person, it doesn't look as bad. Yeah, but you know what? And they have put some air through there, though, Yeah, too. that'll be nice because... Oh, yeah. What because in Glamis sometimes we'll pop our door and hold it open a little bit. Or my cousin even has little they sell a little thing that goes in the latch. Have you seen those? It goes in the latch, lock it in, and you lock the door to it and it kicks the door out about that far. Yeah. Man, that thing's looking good. What do we got? We got SDR doors. I like that cage. Oh, 51 50 zip. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And we got a pumper. Gotta have the pumper. The pumper is amazing. What are we ripping on over here? Integrating his brake lights to his whips and his chase board. Nice. We got one tore apart over here. What are we what are we doing, Tom? So this one we're gonna do the doors, get the cage. Uh, I'm gonna put a winch on this one. That one's still gonna get the rear tire uh, holder okay. and the bag. Tire, Tyler, get the bag out. Let's put the bag in. We're looking at the brake lights, the whips, and the chase bar right now. We got the rear chase bars. We're still gonna do on both bikes. This one is, you're gonna do the tune, right? Yeah. So we're gonna tune it. We got the Evo 2 exhaust and uh, pop off valve. You already have that blow off valve? Yeah. Nice. We already got everything. We're ready to go. Try to put it in upside down? Yeah, like this. Upside down. Well, that way when he rolls over, yeah, yeah. it's right side up. Put everything on the all your, upside down. All your stuff will be where it belongs. It'll be nice and yeah. nice when he pops back up. Awesome. Look at that. So we did, we did this bike. We set it up so it's going to have the spare tire carrier, the lunch carrier, the, the shovel carrier, all that's going to go on this bike. And then this razor over here is going to have the the winch, so if we get stuck, okay. and it's going to have the ice chest. I got a big Claris ice chest over there. So one's going to be for, for getting us unstuck and cooling us off, and one's going to be for feeding us and keeping all of our toe straps and everything in here. So we're trying to plan this out so that we can mostly ride together. There you go. Yeah, I haven't been, I haven't had to be winched out of being stuck, but I've definitely had to have the car winched back 
over right side up. Yeah. And also, we're gonna. I'm waiting on it right now from uh, Super ATV, but a, a trailer hitch. Okay. You know our little attitude toy hauler. Oh yeah. So we're gonna oh, wrap yeah. that to match this car. They're gonna match. Nice. You can tow this up and down the beach in Pismo, take it for oh, that. Hand out beverages at the car and stuff like that. Nice. So, yeah. He's gonna have a lot of fun with this setup. So is this a Velocity Turbo S? Yeah. Okay. Velocity S. I kind of wish I would have got the regular S for him now because the navigation and stuff. You know, we've got the adapter thing. We're just going to put a standard nav in it, but it'll all work out. Yeah, we bought we bought the XB. We bought the base model XB yeah. Pro. Yeah. I I use my Garmin straight out of my truck when I need nav, and then I uh, communications. Now we have communication. I just always worry about him getting lost. Keep it simple, stupid. We can't. So, well, you know, I, I'm telling you, you, you grab a Garmin movie and you turn it off road, it'll draw you a straight line right where you need to well, be. Well, I've already got the kit that goes right in here, it replaces the glove box, and then you just put like a Galaxy or whatever on there, and yeah. you download the app, and you're good. Yep. So, yep. we got seats on order, and then this car's pretty much done. What seats are you putting in it? BRP. Oh, yeah. I love BRPs. I love these doors. Uh, start looking at these builds, and one of them needs a stage too, right? Yes. So we're gonna grab the Map Tuner X because we just happened <clears throat> to bring it. That's weird. And we're gonna we're gonna add the Map Tuner. I mean, we're gonna add that car to our Map Tuner, right? Yes. And we're gonna throw like a we're gonna throw like a stage two on it. I think he said. Now I'm going to get the map tuner X so we can tune. Oh, you didn't bring it with you. Okay. Yeah, I did. Oh, in, in the, the truck. truck. So we're going to get the map tuner X. We're going to sync his just one of the cars he wants done. Yeah, we're gonna... All right, sounds good. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Um, <laughs> all right. That's Brandy in her natural habitat <laughs> at work. Look, there she is. So, can you see her or just the reflection off the window? All right, let's go. Let's go get this map tuner X. Let's go get this map tuner. Hey, look at that truck, looks familiar. That one? Yeah. Let's grab this map tuner. I heard some pretty awesome people drive that. I know, that's what I heard. Almost as awesome as the guy drives this truck. Damn. So, am I gonna act like I don't know what I'm doing? It's easy. As long as we've got a key. Well, he has a battery in it. Ah, what is that? You just slide the thermal on. Okay, to hook the thermal on? Yeah. Sorry. Jim, yeah, Jim, Jim. Yeah. Freaking Jim. Oh my god, look at you. Come on. I'm working on that. <laughs> you don't even have a guy? How do I know that? Sure. Yeah, I didn't do that. Sure. That's why you should have bought a can. We're aware of it, we're going to correct it. <laughs> can Ams don't do that. Actually, I did have that issue in my razor. Alright. He's in it. Here. Oh, I'm just getting tired. Oh my freaking. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, if you dislike. That dislike twice, like Brandy says. Uh, Brandy said peace. Uh, you saw earlier in the video, or later, whichever it may be. Not later, because we're ending the video right now. So, say peace, man. Peace.